Our top story at this hour, the investigation into actor Don Cheadle continues today, looking into charges that the genocide in Darfur is entirely his doing. UN investigators believe Cheadle orchestrated the Darfur genocide so that he could star in an uplifting movie based on the tragedy. There are over 400,000 deaths because of Don Cheadle. He won acclaim for his stirring portrayal of the hotel manager who saved hundreds of refugees in a genocide, but admiration was the first step on Cheadle's road to mass murder. And the Oscar goes to Jamie Foxx and Ray. Cheadle's brave portrayal of a human rights hero lost out to Jamie Foxx's performance as Ray Charles, a blind man. He put on a brave face for the camera, but he was absolutely crushed. After his Oscar defeat, Cheadle tells friends and family he will be starting work on yet another project about genocide. This one, quote, even better than Hotel Rwanda. Two weeks later, he took the first of over 50 trips to Darfur, and that's when the killing began. The Janjaweed militia was receiving a huge boost in funding material from an unknown source, and we now know that that source was Don Cheadle. Testimony from Janjaweed leaders confirms that their orders came directly from Cheadle himself. He chose specific villages for soldiers to attack, picking locales with panoramic vistas to provide a striking backdrop for his future cinematic adaptation. He just pushes himself to be the best. And if that means starting a religious conflict where millions of people end up homeless or, or dead, that's just what Don will do. Throughout history, we've had Hitler, Stalin, Don Cheadle. In the days since the story broke, USA Films has said they plan to continue the project, but without Cheadle's involvement. The studio is now in talks with Denzel Washington, who they say is very interested.